In the terminal, probably the most common command you enter is the cd command, the change directory command to navigate through your directory structure. But there is a shell built in, at least in the bash shell, zsh, and the fish shell, there is a uh, shell built in function called push d. And push d is very similar to cd, it takes you to a directory, you give it a directory argument and it navigates to that directory, but it does some other interesting things as well. Let me switch over to my desktop and let me open up a terminal. I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the bash shell. So let me go ahead and do a push D command. I'm gonna push D and space slash user slash share. I'm just gonna, you know, push D to that directory. Now it's essentially a CD. You can see we have now changed to slash user slash share, but you see it's a little bit different than CD and that it also gave us some output. You see it printed out slash user slash share and it also printed out the uh, tilde character, which is of course an alias for our home directory. So it printed out two different directories. It's printing out the directory that we're going to. It's also printing out the directories that we've already been because by default when I open the terminal, I start in my home directory. That's typically most terminals, right? You're gonna start in your user's home directory. Now let me up arrow and I'm gonna do a push D and I'll do slash user slash share slash icons. Let's just go to a different directory. And once again, it's just like CD. We're now in user share icons, but you can see the output user share icons and user share and also the home directory. So now we have three directories that are listed here. And this is called the directory stack and this is what makes push D unique as compared to CD, right? Because push D, every time you do a push D to a directory, it adds the directory to this stack. And you can actually quickly navigate through this directory stack. You can almost think of the directory stack as basically a bookmark. Anytime you do a push D to a directory, you're essentially bookmarking it so you can quickly come back to it later. Let's go ahead and add a few more. I'll push D user share uh, themes. And I'll push D user share X sessions with a S. And now I've got what five directories in the directory stack. So right now I'm in user share X sessions and you can see in the directory stack, think of these numbered zero through four in this case, there's five directories, but in programming, anything with computers, you typically start counting at zero. So this is zero, this is well, well, if I can highlight it correctly, one, this will be two, this will be three, and then the home directory will be four. Now, instead of giving it a full path or a relative path to a directory, I could push D and give it a number, plus or minus, depending on where I wanna go in the stack, push D plus one. And you can see that's going to take me to user share themes because I was in user share X sessions and it did a plus one. It took me to that next directory in the stack. If I wanted to, I could push D uh, plus two, and you can see from the uh, plus one, here was our new stack, and plus two should have taken us to user share, and that is exactly where it has taken us. If I wanna go backwards in the stack, I, I could do a minus, I could do minus zero here, and zero is user share. If I do a minus zero, I think it's going to take us back to the last part of the stack. It's gonna take us to user share icons and that's exactly what happened. So that's how you navigate with push D using these numbers. You can quickly navigate through your directory stack. Now, sometimes you might want to add something to the directory stack just to bookmark it for later, but you don't actually want to CD to that directory. You could do a push D dash in and then give it a directory. I'll do a slash var slash um, local. Sounds like a good directory. And you can see it's gonna add slash var slash local to the stack, but it does not take us to that directory. We're still in user share icons, which is where we were when we entered that command. So that is the dash in flag. Now, how do you remove directories from the stack? Well, if you wanna remove something from the directory stack, instead of push D, you do pop D. If I do pop D without any other arguments, right now I'm in user share icons. Let me run that. And now I move forward to the next uh, directory in the stack, but it, it eliminated user share icons. That's no longer listed in our directory stack. And just like push D, pop D, uh, you can give it uh, 
plus one, minus one, or, or whatever you want to, you, you can pick any of these in the directory stack. For example, right now, this is zero, one, two, three, four. If I do a pop D plus four, that should remove user share themes from the directory stack. And you can see now it prints out this output user share themes is no longer there. Now let me clear the screen. One thing when you're uh, adding a lot of directories to the stack with push D, you know, it's kind of, you know, kind, kind of difficult to, to read the stack and figure out what the numbers are sometimes, especially if you have a long listing here in the directory stack. So there's actually a shell built in, at least in bash, you can use D-I-R-S, uh, DIRS or DEERS, or <laughs> I'm not sure exactly how you'd want to pronounce that, but it basically it's directories, right? It lists the directory stack as was created by push D and pop D. So if I run that, it just prints out the directory stack, kind of like push D was printing it out anyway. But here's the cool thing with this DIRS command, do DIRS space dash V. And now it prints out the directory stack line by line and it gives them a number so it's much easier to actually see that user share accessions is three in the stack where when it's printed out like this you know I gotta I gotta think a little bit right so that is DERS dash V matter of fact I, I probably would just alias DERS to always print out um, this format here because I think that is what most people probably want now we mentioned pop D will remove single directories from the directory stack. If you want to completely clear the entire stack, you can do dir space dash C and it will clear the entire directory stack. I'm not going to do that just yet. And another thing you can do to clear the entire directory stack is just exit out of your terminal session. So push D and pop D and DIRS, you know, they bookmark these things for that terminal session. So when you exit out of your terminal session, the, the history and everything is gone for push D, right? So this is just for that session. So push D, pop D, and DIRS, these are bash built-ins. They also work in ZSH. They work in ZSH exactly the way they work in FISH because the Z shell also has created these built-in functions with the same names and the same functionalities. So everything is the same in bash and ZSH with push D, pop D, and DIRS. But there is a shell that is a little different. So let's switch over to the FISH shell. Because the fish shell has some peculiarities to it that actually I think they improve on some of this functionality. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a push D. I'll just go to my home directory. Well, I've got to specify slash home slash DT. Let's go ahead. And you will notice push D is creating a directory stack for us, but it doesn't give us output. So if I do push D, let's up arrow and I'll do a... Uh, I'll basically do, do the same kind of stack. I'll do user share. I'll do user share uh, icons. I'll do user share uh, themes if I can type correctly. And I'll do user share uh, X sessions. Yeah. So unlike in Bash and in ZSH, uh, Push D in the Fish Shell, uh, their version of Push D does not give you the output of the directory stack. And some people might like that. Some people might not like that. Honestly, it kind of goes both ways. A lot of people with the bash built-ins for push D and pop D, they don't like having that output automatically printed because there's no way to suppress it. And sometimes you, you don't want, you don't really need that output, but in the fish show, it's not even an option. You don't get the output at all. It's because, you know, you have the DIRS command, right? Yeah, if you want the output of the directory stack, there's already a command for it. That kind of makes sense. Now, one thing to know is DIRS-V to give you that number listing that was really neat in Bash. This also works in ZSH. There is no dash V flag for DIRS in the fish shell. You can see unknown option. And the reason it's an unknown option and they didn't create it for DIRS is because the fish shell, the fish developers have a better built-in than DIRS. They actually created this built-in function called CDH. You can think of it as CD history. It shows the directory history and it gives you a prompt so you can quickly switch to that directory. So this is CDH. It's kind of like DIRS-V, except you can actually enter the number, right? And it gives you letters and numbers depending on whatever you want to enter. But for example, you can say user share icons is either the letter B or the number two. Let me hit two, hit enter, and I go to user share icons. That is really, really cool. So as, as neat as DIRS-V is in Bash and ZSH, CDH 
is just a better implementation because it already has this interactive prompt that allows you to go ahead and quickly change to that directory another fish built in so this is strictly for the fish shell there is the command uh, deer h S similar to cdh cdh uh, prints out your push d pop d kind of history right i think it prints out like the last 25 but again it only works in this terminal session if you exit out you lose all that information dir h actually gives you the history like whatever you know, your current history is I, I think it goes back like the last 25 and i think that'll show everything even if you cd around so if i cd into i don't know i guess i could cd into downloads for example if i up arrow dir h you can see downloads is in that but cdh downloads is not in that because this is only showing you your push d pop d history now let me go ahead and hit something here so i'll uh, hit one to go to user share icons the last thing i want to mention and i've mentioned these two fish built-ins before is a uh, previous d and next d and what these built-in functions do, as you can probably guess, they take you to the previous directory that you were at or to the next directory in your uh, history. So if I do, for example, previous D, it's going to take me back to my downloads directory because that's where I was before I went to user share icons. And if I go ahead and do next D, you can probably guess what that's going to do. That's going to take me to user share icons so I can quickly navigate through my directory history so this is the dir h right so this is not specific to push d and pop d this is all of your history and one of the cool things is because previous d and next d are so useful right they're so incredibly useful commands the fish shell guys they don't want you to have to type it they've actually key binded this to alt and then either the left arrow or the right arrow so if i go alt left arrow you know i can go back through my history and now i can just navigate you can see how very cool that is and this is something that bash and zsh they just don't they don't have some of this stuff and it's one of the reasons why i really am a big proponent of the fish shell i know a lot of people they they don't want to use the fish shell because it's not posix compliant it's scripting or whatever you script using bash that's what i do but for an interactive shell if you spend a lot of time at the shell doing a lot of interactive commands and navigating cding around doing all of that stuff if you're one of these people that live in a terminal you kind of owe it to yourself to eventually check out the fish shell but i've kind of gotten off track this, this video is not necessarily about specifically the fish shell it was mainly about the push d pop d and the durs built-in commands for bash zsh and fish i did want to add some of these fish specific commands such as cdh deer h previous d and next d as well because I, I think those are such incredibly useful commands that everyone should know about them now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. Gabe James, Maxim, Matt, Mimit, Mitchell, Paul, Royal, Wes, Armor, Dragon, Bash, Potato, Chuck, Commander, Angry, George, Lee, Methos, Nate, Erjan, Paul, Peace, Archon, Fedora, Polytech, Realities for Less, Red Prophet, Roland, Tools, Deviler, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this quick look at Push D and Pop D and all the rest, it wouldn't have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now, these are all my supporters over on Patreon. I don't have any corporate sponsors. If you like my work and want to see more videos about some of these neat shell commands, subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. Peace, guys.